Ranking your strangest recipes. Okay, so similar to boiled french fries and Oreos and ketchup and what else was it? Why am I a blast? What? Listen. Hello and welcome to a very Hello. special episode of whatever the show's called, where I'm ranking your strangest proclivities. We recently put out a call for your strangest, most bizarre, most depraved recipes that you can't believe you love. And we Wasn't got there something you burnt? Yeah, burnt so, grilled cheese. Kevin's been kind enough to make 25 of them for me, and I'm going to try them, rank them, and see just what the hell's going on in that head of yours. Let's get started. This episode is sponsored oh by Trainwell. Trainwell combines the personalization and accountability of an in-person personal trainer with the flexibility Hayes of technology. cooking, is that the After lady? With Nate, my virtual trainer, he designed custom workouts to fit my goals and schedule. With the Trainwell app, you can work I think out so. anytime, I think anywhere. So. Exercising consistently can be challenging with a schedule like mine, but with Trainwell, I have the flexibility to work out when it works out Oreo. for me. The first 100 people to sign up with my Trainwell link get 14 days free, plus $25 uh... off their first month. The link is in the video description. Okay. For your consideration, this is teriyaki spam submitted by mm. the media judge one. Teriyaki spam doesn't sound half bad. I wanted to start you off with one that I think is going to be tasty. Okay, so what's in it? <laughs> or should I just eat just it? Just eat it. Okay. Eat it. All right. You'll know. Okay, happy breakfast. That's a damn fine breakfast wrap is what that is. I never had spam in a in a egg and Cheese, presumably? Wrap, no. Or just eggs? Mm -hmm. Egg, pepper, and onion. And the spam has been marinated in soy sauce, mirin, and garlic. I love it. It's perfect. I never, I, I'm not a huge teriyaki That doesn't fan. sound not so a bad. Huge fan. Big breakfast burritos fan. The, the three have come together into something completely palatable, downright tasty, even. This is great. This is great. I love this. I love this. I wouldn't eat more. You have many more to come. No. Well. We're off to an extremely promising start. This is what is this tasty. If I were to rank spam as a food product, it is pepper spam with teri. The spam was marinated in teriyaki with garlic. I'd give it a, a, a four. You've nudged it up into the eight territories. We got an eight on our hands here, folks. Yeah, my I do like it, my brother Sam loves I spam. I do like teriyaki spam. I do like it in a burrito. I do like it. Nothing rhymes with burrito. Nothing. Not even Dr. Seuss can rhyme with burrito. What'd you say? With a mojito. With a mojito. Okay. <laughs> We've got mac and beans submitted by Dragon Puff with a box of with a can of pork and beans. I mean, that doesn't sound half bad. Mac and cheese, pork and beans. Ah, uh, no. It's as though the flavors somehow cancel each other out. It's like, I, this doesn't taste like mac and cheese, nor does it taste like pork and beans. I think Ew. maybe barbecue baked beans might work better, but I also have no desire to have beans in my pasta. It's just not doing it for me. Because this is not bad, it's not offensive, but it's also it's not, not I think offensive. That it this is the PBJ&P submitted by Ben's Brick Designs. What pray tell is the extra P? It's a PB&J sandwich, but you have a third piece of bread and you put dill pickle slices and potato chips. Here we go. It what begins. the f Fun's over, people. <clears throat> so it's a triple decker PB&J. What? Wantonly mashing together sweet and savory like a child with, uh, with on the wrong ADD medication. Oh. Woo. It's just <clears throat> like this, you taste pickles and chips. And He's sweating. <laughs> Is he so he like wiped his brow? It's like I'm eating two sandwiches like this, like back, just back and forth. I'm going to have to rate this because it's not just food. It's a little worse than that. I'll be very, very diplomatic and give it a four. May I present to you depression kimchi pickle toast <laughs> submitted by Blars. So it's a grilled cheese, but open faced. Mm -hmm topped with pickles, kimchi, and drizzled with ketchup and spicy mayonnaise. No. Sounds pretty lit. No. You ask me. No. Is that what they say? No. Oh my God. Okay, Blars, no. this one's for you. I need something with a little bit of everything. No. Right. Oh. He added that um, they uh, specified that this is their ticket to happiness. Well, I'm very happy that it makes you happy. Um, 
It's not doing it for me. If it were just kimchi, cheese, and spicy mayo, I'd probably be giving it like an eight. But with the pickles and the ketchup, it's really not doing it for me, but it's not disgusting, but it's also not something I wanna keep eating, so I think it's a four. Cure your depression however you like, with or without ketchup. Not for me to judge, even though I am sitting here judging. Anyway, I'm happy that this cures your depression. If you do have depression, try to seek out professional help, uh, not necessarily just funky toasts. <laughs> this is the pasta omelet submitted by Webs. So you take leftover pasta. The submitter likes puttanesca, but as you do not like puttanesca, I went with penne alla vodka. Oh. Then you soak it in seasoned eggs overnight in the refrigerator. Soak it in seasoned eggs. And then you heat it up in a frying pan and cook it like a Spanish tortilla. Thank you, Webs. I think this is actually gonna be pretty chill. I don't mind it. I'm not crazy about it. I wish it could be oh. crispier, but I know that's not possible. We're talking about eggs here. You can't get eggs crispy, and if you did, they'd be gross. I almost wish we did uh, uh, Pudinashka because that's what they suggested. No, I'm gonna be mean without. But as it is, I think I gotta give it a five. I don't want any more of it. I don't want any less of it. I am the same for having have, have tried it. Solid five. This is Poor Man's Pad Thai, as submitted by X Katie Bug. It is a toasted slice of white bread uh. topped with peanut butter, chili crisp, and optionally, tagine. I mean, it's got the Pad Thai flavors in there, kinda. Where's the tamarind? <laughs> where's, the sh where's the shrimp? But no, I mean, that's why we call it Poor Man's Pad Thai. Let's try it out. I like it. It, it, it wants for something. An acid actually would be great. Maybe like a squeeze of lime or something. Just like pad thai. Whoa, what, why is it red? Why is there red on it? What's happening? What Don't worry this? about that. Don't worry about that. Just like real pad thai. Little squeeze of lime. Let's see what happens. You took two bites of it. <clears throat> I'm impressed. With a squeeze of lime, I'm still reticent to give it an eight. It bumped it up to like a 7.5. But as is, seven. Like that's a really serviceable, enjoyable mm. snack. It does deliver on some of the flavors. Not quite, but like, is very interesting in its own right. That's a seven. I like it. Let's take a look. <laughs> what the hell? This is Gator Wine. <laughs> Submitted by Ghost Nowhere. Gator Wine? Yes, what? what it is. Gatorade and Wine. Gatorade and Wine? Yes. It's perfectly oh. equal parts light blue Gatorade. Light blue Gatorade? And red wine, cheap, under $12, which was difficult to find, to be honest. Wine prices. That's because yeah. Barefoot used to be able to, they paid you to take it, and it's cold. <laughs> I froze the glass. Well, I mean, I should, okay, I, mean, I should do this proper. I'm trying to swirl it to get them legs. What kind of legs are we looking for? <laughs> no discernible legs, <laughs> just varicose veins. Well, this is exactly what I need right oh, now. Oh, man. Some electrolytes, some booze. You could have it while you're working out. You could have it while you're giving birth. <laughs> what? At a funeral. What? You could do belly shots of it. This is the most versatile drink I've ever heard of. <sighs> Here we go. Oh no! It's not like anything I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes of uh, the, the, there's there's maybe cherries, leather, and like um, leather raspberries on the nose. I don't know what to do, but because if I'm being honest. I'd rather drink this than barefoot or 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 uh, yellow. Wow. Salad. <laughs> does that wow. make me a snob or does that make me cool? I don't know. <laughs> <Does> it... <laughs> I drink that on the rocks. It's I don't. I the more I'm drinking it, the more I like it. <laughs> it's kind of what it's giving is like almost a sangria vibe because you added this fruit juice for lack of a better. They're not good wines. Wine. Oh, I've never so had it's this. This kind of wine cocktail vibe and. I definitely don't like it as much as uh, sangria, but I don't like it any less than that. <laughs> I, I, I kind of give it a six. I like it. A, a kind of very disgusting, perverse Budget way line? I like it. <laughs> oh, is it like wine in a box? I'm going to keep it right here with me for the rest of the episode. I'm just oh. going to be drinking it. He <laughs> likes it, likes Jeez, it. it's an applesauce. As presented by not available. Oh. So this is this is anonymously yeah. submitted. I wonder why. I'm gonna start by eating it kind of like a chip, I guess. Good. You say good. Yeah. You sound like a Sith or something. <laughs> good. good. <laughs> yes. Is it like a chip? 
Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've been pranked because this is done. I taste cheese it and then I taste applesauce and I taste cheese it and I taste applesauce. These flavors are incompatible. This is gross. I'm gonna give it a two. Really <laughs> and I love both these things. I love applesauce, I love cheese it's not meant to be together. Sorry, question mark? <laughs> Why do I feel bad? Well, if you thought the still drinking last it one was a prank. <laughs> You might think the same about this one. This is the Oreo Witch, as submitted by Shanley and Jello. This is Thanks, something Sammy. Sammy. Bread bun on the Sammy. Bottom, a small amount of jelly, great preferably on it. Definitely slice Sammy. Slice of ham, slice of cheese on top of jelly. Four Oreos centered on the sandwich, one bread bun on top. It tastes surprisingly good. In parentheses, I'm sorry. You guys are dicks. <laughs> I hope that they didn't actually mean this, and I'm like now being so mean about their favorite snack, but also this is not, you're unwell. <laughs> you're unwell. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Oh! Oh! I'll tell you why it doesn't taste bad. Because all I taste, I don't taste ham or cheese, I just taste Oreos and jelly which ain't bad. How do I rate it? Because that's all I tasted and it tasted My good. stomach is feeling You're some right, type Shane of way. You're right, This doesn't taste bad because you can't taste the ham and cheese. You just taste Oreos and jam. I guess you're getting a little protein in there. Anything, that's more points, I don't know. I don't know what's what anymore. I've lost track of reality. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. I have to give it a six because it doesn't taste bad. And my career is over now. <laughs> I don't want to have another bite. Does that mean that it gets less than? Okay, you know what? No, hold up. Give me that empty plate back. <laughs> here, it's still here. We threw it away, but just pretend it's here. The fact is that like looking at it <laughs> and with even baseline knowledge of what it is, I don't want to have another bite. So I feel like that has to knock it down. I don't care what it tastes like. It has to knock it down. You can't just judge food on taste alone. You eat with your eyes first, and I saw it. From sheer, like, admiration for being able to take that and make it not taste like hell, four. four. What? And you're lucky you're getting four. But you what liked we got it. Here? But you wouldn't want to eat it again. S'mores. Damn it. Submitted by Joey T underscore stuff. Sounds awful, I know, but trust me, exclamation point. Place a Ritz cracker on a sheet tray, <laughs> topped with a quarter inch slice of Velveeta. Marshmallow, broil until- Broiled. Rest. Broiled. Okay. <laughs> and then top with another Ritz cracker. I've been surprised by weirder than this thus far. I wonder how this so, tastes. So Velveeta, marshmallow, and cracker. Why'd she make so many? No, no, <laughs> no, you don't get to start sweet and end savory. It doesn't go that way. Oh no, and the Velveeta, and now I, now I taste Velveeta and marshmallow at the same time, and it is not pretty. <laughs> I don't care for this at all. It's not as horrible as I was expecting it to be, but it's also not very good at all. I'm gonna give these a three. Three for thee, but not for me. <laughs> Not when I've got my ghetto one. <laughs> oh. These are salt chocolate grapes. Mm. As suggested by That's Dusty not so bad. By Can Rock. Well, they're terribly charming to look at. Oh wait, they're frozen nope. grapes? They're just grapes. And salted, no less. Salted, which is a key component as it is in the title of the dish. Be careful mm. as the sticks are pokey. Very pokey. Ooh, you're right. They're very <laughs> pokey. <laughs> Nah, no. Combination no? chocolate and, and grapes when it first hits is like dirt. It tastes like dirt. Grapes and what? chocolate. There's a reason I've never heard of that before. <laughs> I don't want any more. Really? It's I don't like grapes, so I know I wouldn't like that. It's horrible, but it's also pretty bad. I think that gets it. I hate grapes. But you know what goes great with everything? Gator wine. God straight up, yes, right, it does. <laughs> he really loves that freaking wine. <laughs> can feel it coming in the gate of wine. So hold on. This is Taco Mac and Heat, submitted by Garuda oh. Song. I combined 
mac and cheese mm -hmm. with taco meat seasoned with taco seasoning mm -hmm. and put it in a taco shell. With radish. But there's sauce. There's sauce. There's sauce, which is ranch. And they specified smoking Ed's Reaper squeezing XXX. But from what I can tell online, um, smoking Ed's has been renamed as Pucker Butt Pepper Company. The Pucker Butt Pepper Company, of course. What's going to become of me? That doesn't seem so bad. Die. Oh, wait. Gonorrhea. Wait. Oh, wait. This is the perfect taco for for a uh, wolf. Instead of instead of Ray, what did we always say? Um, for Wolf, the spaghetti taco. But now it's mac and cheese taco. That's not a taco. <laughs> Macaroni taco. Permission to throw up. It actually doesn't look so bad. I don't know. It's because it has that spice in there. Should we should send this to Pima? You can take your radish off if you don't like the radish. The radish is not what I'm concerned about. <laughs> you put the radishes on there? I did. That's how I dressed my tacos. They said dress however you like. And I did. <laughs> oh, is he not a spice person? Jesus Christ. It doesn't taste like mac and cheese or ranch. It just tastes like taco meat. And it's really spicy. See, it's not it so bad. so hot. Dana wine. Oh, jeez. Oh, what can't you fix? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna bump the, I'm, sorry, Gator Wines, the more Gator Wine I have, the higher the score gets. Gator Wines is seven. You <laughs> saved me from this <laughs> nightmare. I truly don't like this, it's way too spicy. <laughs> way too spicy. Uh, this sucks. Okay, so this he can't handle oh, a God. spice, but if he could, if he was a spice handling it. person, I, I bet that would Here. be a seven. Can you, can you if I just kind of, Going down, down, cause we get it one. And sugar, we're going down. <laughs> this is Cottage Cheap's Not Official. Wait! Made by Ainsley Autumn, but also me. Wait, this one. Down, down, cause we get it one. And sugar, we're going down drunk. <laughs> this is Cottage Cheap's Not Official. Submitted by Ainsley Autumn, but also me. Wait, this smells like uh, vinegar. So. On the on your left side are regular potato chips, as Ainsley Autumn specified. My childhood snack was the same concept, but with salt and vinegar chips, which are what are on the right side of your dish. So, for the record, ladies and cottage gentlemen, cottage chips. I is that? Hate cottage cheese. All right, I'm gonna start with the regular chips. Cottage I suppose. cheese. You love a good sort of curdled looking dip, you know. What the fuck is that? Why'd you do this? Try with the salt and vinegar. Try. Okay, that'll probably fix it. That I don't mind. The salt and vinegar adds something, right? Yeah, Hi, salt, boy. Vinegar, but that's not the that's original not recipe, original. nor is it official. So that's gonna ding you. This doesn't have a, a purpose or point or should exist. I should exist. No Childhood and the very building blocks of who you are. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Four, because it's not like poison bad, but it's also not like in any way even remotely Damn. good. I'm sorry, Kendall. Let, let's get your score. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Look, I know we're all damaged. Mm. I mean, why do you think I'm he here? Gator wipes. This is he really loves that Spanish gator wine. Fried rice. Submitted by at Mad City VL. Hmm. Now they did request that this be made with boxed Mexican rice, but I regrettably got Spanish rice because I got confused. That is regrettable. It's called Spanish fried rice. I regret that you've done this. So it's fried rice. Fried fri rice with, with onion and chorizo and egg. Is there cheese? Yes, there's cheese. Uh oh, oh no, I like this. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a lot of cheese. Look what happens. Look at what happens live. Watch what happens live. Mm. Oh, he's oh, excited. No. <laughs> no. Gator One has a new best friend. <laughs> it's just Spanish rice, but better. Bravo. Hats off. Take a bow. Grease me up, rub me down. Show me who the boss is. Oh. It's this. Like, I want to give it a, a 10. It's awesome. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. But that's not a 10. 10, 10 blows me away. But Gator One. But Gator Act 1 got a 7. Yeah, give it time. 
Big time. <laughs> <laughs> it got seven in the morning, but at night. <laughs> I can't think of anything wrong with it. As far as weird oh my stony God. mishmash snacks go, I, I want to give it a 10, but that just seems insane. So I'm going to give it a 9. I really like it. I really like it. I Next can fix him. My friend is Gator in the wine. This <laughs> Gator in the wine. This is Little Treat. This guy. As submitted by Lover, but with an O, it's an X. Sarcana. It's their Little Treat smiley face. It's a salt and vinegar chip topped uh -huh. with Nutella and cherries. Uh, this sounds pretty. This might actually be really good because I used to do this when I was young and my mom thought I was pregnant. Um, I would have potato chips and something sweet like icing or Nutella and I would scoop the potato chips with the jar of icing or the can of Nutella, something that was sweet. And I would scoop the potato chip in there and I would eat it like that. I didn't have that thingy on top though. But mom thought I was pregnant. Dang, good actually. <laughs> Sounds salty Nutella cherry. I'm into it. I mean, it's, uh, is it salt and vinegar chip? Cause salt you're, vinegar chip? no. Yes. Salt and vinegar chip? Yes. Yes. Oh God. Damn it! Why can't you just let me have one nice thing? Ooh. Have your gator wine. Luckily, I can't taste the vinegar at all, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> but the crunch of the chip, salt of the chip, the Nutella of the Nutella, and the and the tartness of the cherry come together in something that literally only tastes like Nutella. I hate that it's salt <laughs> and vinegar, but I'm not gonna knock it for that because I couldn't taste it. Even though I did that with the Oreo ham sandwich. Whatever. It, I put the object in my mouth and it felt and tasted good and it looks if a bit silly, nice. I, I want another one. <laughs> Even though I'm full, I feel sick, I'm drunk as <laughs> shit off Gatorade. I'm gonna give it a seven. Eight, I'm gonna give it an eight. I love oh. Nutella so much. Over the Gator wine? Oh, it gets good, it goes good with Gator wine. Uh, not yet. But, uh, Over the gator wine? A more you almost drank the whole freaking <laughs> cup. Let's see what kind of score it gets. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you could fall over with legs like that. <laughs> and it was not your fault but mine. Yeah, I was drinking gator wine. I really f***ed it up this time. Didn't I, my dear, dear? He needs to make songs of gator wine. <laughs> this <Yeah>? is... <laughs> Pecorn. It's submitted by Jack. What Pecorn? is that smell? <laughs> what? It is uh, garam masala, dried dill, red pepper flakes, salt, and a little bit of sugar because this is sweet. Sweet garam masala corn called popcorn. Nico helped me with this one. You should know. So this is your fault because it's awesome. <laughs> this works. This is, okay, spice, so that's a great thing. I love it. That with his gator wine. That's all thanks to Nico <laughs> and gator wine. How does it That's... go with gator wine, though? Yeah, yeah, see? Oh my god. Bring the gator what? wine, boy. <laughs> okay, there's a stuff. <laughs> oh all. no. This is really Oh good. no. Really good. I really <laughs> like this. It completely subverted my expectations. It's really like addicting and craveable. <laughs> what did I give a, a, a nine before? The Spanish fried rice. That didn't really subvert my expectations. Like you fry up oh Spanish rice God. with some cheese, it's gonna be good. But this is like, never would have imagined this in a million years. I love it. It's a 10. Congratulations, Jack. Ooh. You jacked it, which Ooh. is how I say you won. You can jack me anytime. You might say jack's off, uh, hats off. Brad, that's a sex thing. These are <laughs> Texas pancakes oh. from T R W I H three four seven. Twisterson. Yes. Yeah. They are crepes with pesto in the batter themselves, as well as being stuffed with pesto and cheese. Hmm. And it, it doesn't red? sound so bad. The red is an optional topping of onion chutney. Oh, this sounds delightful. Right? Yes. Oh, and the cheese is brie. Which is okay. It's an interesting choice. Jarred pesto. Yeah. It's like bitter. You know, jarred pesto's bitter. These juices are a little un unseemly here. Like that's... Shrek. 
That's a, this is Shrek's blood or urine, I can't tell. Four. No! Four? Another liquid. No, no. I mean, I thought this was gonna be fantastic, but the jarred pesto really kills it. It should be so good, but it's just, you know, Yeah, it sounds good on paper. <laughs> These are tuna tacos, oh. but not those tuna tacos. No. By at DM doll. Handle. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this. Hard shell taco, heated for five minutes at 350 degrees. Tuna can, Miracle Whip, which I know. They specifically uh. absolutely not mayo. Oh my God. Just enough to combine, add pepper, which I did, and salt. Spoon into baked shells and top with shredded medium cheddar cheese. I'm almost 47 and I've been making this for 35 or so years. This smells like the popcorn. That's nice at least. <laughs> There's nothing about this that I like. Oh God. In fact, there's nothing about this I don't hate. Yeah, just chug oh. it. You're gonna need it. Come on. That's so why they pay the big bucks. Why is it cold? Is only, it cold? Only the shell is heated. Oh, oh no. I don't wanna do this. Oh. Don't give up on your fans. Don't give up on your fans. They gave up on me. <laughs> Two, oh God! No. Three, this is a Sammy taco. Four, five. This is a Sammy six. taco. I can go all the way. I can count really high. I'm gonna keep going until you run out of tape on that thing. It's a digital option. Oh until no! Until you run out of digital tape, I'm bigger, stronger than you, smarter than you. <laughs> I've been eating these for 35 years. They're sick. So, so, They're so sick. sick people. It's us versus them, you know. Come on, man up. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, it's blood on my hands. It's everywhere. Now it's on your sleeves and your pants. You zero? Yeah. It's your show. Okay. Zero. <laughs> zero. I hate this. Hate it. Try that with some gator wine. See how far you make it there. This is Freaking my gator recipe, wine. submitted by the Fair Player Two Two Five Four. Put a generous like amount of butter into a small saucepan. That's an ode to you. Turn on the burner to low. As the butter just starts to melt, add in three large spoonfuls of smooth peanut butter. Stir constantly with a spoon to incorporate the butter into the peanut butter. While stirring, mix in a few small pours of heavy cream to lighten the mixture to taste. Loving this so far. Once the butter, cream, and peanut butter are fully mixed and resemble the texture of cookie dough, turn off the burner. I was never able to achieve that texture. <laughs> Pour in a generous amount of maple syrup to taste. This is to my taste, so. This is a, a dog treat or something? What <laughs> is this? Mix thoroughly and add freshly grated nutmeg to taste. Serve warm or optionally chilled and served, which is what we have done. Very few things in this world that you can serve at any temperature. I appreciate that. Okay. Pretty sure it's just what is this? Whole, what is this? Old peanut butter. It, it feels like I'm eating a dog treat of some kind. Like this feels like a dog's birthday cake, you know? <laughs> I'm sure you couldn't serve this to a dog. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this loudly and proudly. Do not serve this to a dog. But if you want to feel what it's like to be a dog on his most special day, whip up a <laughs> scoop of this. There's nothing like gross or bad about it. There's also nothing good or uh, like exciting about it. So I think that's a five. This is Mac and Ramen from Master Hangers. So this is Mac and Ramen. It's beef ramen. It's beef ramen. And Easy Mac. And Easy you Mac. Cook the noodles Easy together. Mac specifically. Because the ramen noodles and the Easy Mac noodles cook for the same amount of time, which is three minutes. You cook those. Then in a separate bowl, you combine the seasoning packets, two tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of water, one tablespoon of butter. Noodles into the bowl, stir, stir, stir. Season to taste with salt and pepper and optionally garnish with crushed flaming Hot Cheetos. Okay. Here's what the hell? In a bowl. I mean, honestly, this is probably going to be the best hell? pairing with uh, the uh, a gator wine. <laughs> And I will say, that's yeah. not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. 
It's not bad. We were talking before about how the pickle peanut butter jelly sandwich was, you'd eat it and you'd be like, the pickle, the peanut butter, the, the, the pickle jelly. Like it would just be back and forth. This tastes like the actual halfway point between macaroni and cheese and ramen and flaming hot cheetah. Mm. <laughs> him and that wine, bro. Wine. Whoever gave him that wine. <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> in exactly the right ways. I think, it's, I think it gets a seven. It's good. This is the best watermelon oh. by Crunchy Frog 1709. Oh no. Step one, take a piece or slice of watermelon. Two, dip the watermelon in yellow mustard, in parentheses, regular cheap yellow mustard. Three, eat the delicious mustard covered watermelon. Oh, okay, so this is a mistake. I've heard of this before. Oh, no. Man. No! I hate that. I hate it. it ruins the watermelon, ruins perfectly good mustard. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> this doesn't taste like poison, at least, like that tuna taco. What did, what did they mean by not those tuna tacos? Like ahi tuna tacos? Or oh, like no. something perfect? They meant ahi tuna tacos, so let's move nope. on to something else. No, okay. no, no. Oh, 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 he saved her. <laughs> this is evil. Grilled cheese Evil. submitted by at Bermations. It's a tale of two sandwiches. The right side, uncooked, is white sandwich bread filled with goldfish and Cheez Its, yeah. which is their original recipe. But there's well. an after note that says perhaps you could add extra cheese in between and actually make it a grilled cheese, which I have done with the left side of your meal. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you took the liberty. I'll start with the original recipe. Whoops. You know what sandwich should do that? No sandwich. I've just proved a point. Now you're, you're having to rebuild it there. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah? That was dumb. What kind of cheese? Cheddar. Yeah. I thought I'd play off the cheese it, you know? That's good. That's good. You can taste the like you know cheese it and goldfish. Uh, they have they have distinct snacky flavors, and you can taste them. Are they old enough? The uh, grilled cheese flavors. Plus, there's an added crunch. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a one, and this a seven. For your penalty of delicacy, I present to you the snickle. The snickle. Submitted by Diet Coke Tin. What the it is a halved and hollowed out pickle filled no. with a Snickers bar mm. no. held together by rubber bands. Uh, the rubber bands are important, yes. Important and non edible. Correct. Were so, right, I to eat this entire thing, I eat down to this point, remove the sort of straps and. Um, That's and actually a thing. Or eat around them. Or eat around them. I'm pushing the Snickers bars out a little bit by inserting my finger in here, pressing. I, I don't think I... Mm. Oh, I got a little bit of pickle juice coming down here, but look at what the, the sunrise. I just want to make sure I get a you know, good amount of both. <laughs> mm. Interesting. I like how there is a um, <laughs> essence of pickle, but at the heart of it is a Snickers bar. <laughs> I love that you guys have fun in the comments and that you, you have a good time. It's important to me that everyone has a good time. Are Except you having me. a good time? Not even a little. Do I have to do a show actually write this? Because uh, it's a Snickle. You must. It's a Snickle? Okay, well, the Snickle gets a the Snickle gets a zero. Now, I was raised oh. Oh. Uh, in a vehemently anti Snickle household, and um, this would not fly. Not in my daddy's house. Not in my daddy's house. No, don't do it, no. No, the rubber bands! Gilly! What the? Sweet fade <laughs> of wine. <laughs> That's work. <laughs> what is this? This is cheesecake. Oh, Submitted by Stephen Lathbrun. What? They're Cheetah Puffs with vanilla frosting. Serve like hors d'oeuvres. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
limitations around that? None at all. Mm. Audience, what do you think I'm gonna say about these things? Guys, this is bad. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> the guys aren't listening, this is bad. It's, it's frosty on Cheeto Puffs, guys. I mean, come on, I mean, what am I to do? We got there. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> because I ran out of. I didn't even notice the glass was A1. empty. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, what was I doing? Reviewing these Cheetos with f***ing frosting on them? They mostly just taste like vanilla frosting. I barely even <laughs> taste the Cheeto. Until the end. <laughs> I want to know what the Gator Wine like and corny. person is God, thinking of God, I feel like an it. old man right now because I'm just be like, they're bad, they're one. Frosted Cheetos are for kids. That's the that's the, their version of the commercial. Instead of tricks, it's like, f*** you, old man. F*** <laughs> you, old man. <laughs> Frosted Cheetos are for kids, you f***ing yeah, so I'm gonna give it a one because it's clearly a prank that's being played upon me and I don't care for pranks. Not when I'm enjoying my hourly glass of gator wine. Yeah. What did we learn here Bro. today? <laughs> there are new flavors in Bro. this universe not yet discovered. And they can be exciting, or they can be horrifying. Either way, it's fun to experiment. And I'm happy to have been experimented upon today. My top three in this order were teriyaki spam, the very first thing I tried, Spanish fried rice, the cheesy Spanish version of fried rice, and at number one, popcorn, the stunningly delicious garam masala sweet popcorn. And of course, an honorable mention, a right honorable mention to Gator One. It really <laughs> got me through this one. Because <laughs> this, this was trying on the soul. From the things that I just ate, I don't think any human has ever eaten this combination of foods in one day. Kind of like Neil Armstrong in that way. I'm a trailblazer, pioneer. So thank you guys so much for sending in all these recipes. We got like thousands of entries and these were the most interesting ones. And while some were obviously designed to torture and or uh, displease me, many were stunningly good in ways that I couldn't possibly have anticipated. And this half pour of gator wine <laughs> goes out to all of you for sharing your deepest, darkest secrets with me, trusting me with tasting them and sharing them with the world. And remember, whatever I said doesn't matter. If you like it, it gets a 10, because you're a 10. Well, you're in New York 7, but you're wow. in Western 10. <laughs> well, thanks again to Trainwell for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> With the reliability and flexibility of Trainwell, working out is less stressful and fits my schedule. Instead of having to worry about what muscle groups to exercise, it's all planned out by my trainer, who is actually paying attention to my goals and needs. I've already learned a ton of new exercises and discovered muscle groups I didn't even know I had. If you don't think your trainer is the right fit, you can change any time in the app. Forbes ranked Trainwell as the best personal trainer app of 2023. Try it for yourself. The first 100 people to sign up with my Trainwell link get 14 days free, plus $25 off their first month. The link is in the video description. <laughs> what is with this one? Why this one? Why not the Gator? <laughs> Gator, why?